Hello, crypto world. Welcome to The Chart Historian. My name is Justin, and on this channel, I delve deep into crypto charts, exploring chart structures, fractals, and patterns. My, oh my, what is happening on the XRP chart? So we have this nice, beautiful green candle that took place right here. So if you're familiar with my previous video, I was talking about XRP moving down like here. And by the way, this is that fractal from my previous video and I have it aligned correctly. So before I had it moved over here, but this is the correct alignment where you have this wave right here, wave one, and you have this little in-between thing and then you have wave two. And what I was talking about in my previous video that this fractal was a potential guidepost to what is currently taking place today and we should expect a move down, but look what happened, the exact opposite. So this brings up some uh, interesting points that I, I think it's really important to point out. First of all, when a fractal or when a chart breaks from a fractal, many times it will take place right at the point where something dramatic is um, going to happen. So like here, it was supposed to move down. And what did it do? It, this is the point where it broke it moved up. So that is a typical place where a potential break could happen. And I should have mentioned that in my previous video. And the other important thing is this shows the limits of this type of technical analysis. So I can find fractals that are guides to what is currently taking place. I can also find the, the overall season that um, the XRP chart is in. But what I can't predict is random things like a move away from the fractal. So that is the limitations of this type of technical analysis. So what does this mean? Now that this has moved up, is it still following this? And if, it, if it's not... What can we expect? Do we have other fractals that it is following? Well, let's dive into that. Okay, so here is today's decline, and here is where we are now. What is this fractal? So I took this fractal from right here. Many times, and I've mentioned this before, after a bull run, you have a decline, and once you get into this range-bound sideways time, this first fractal will mimic something from in the decline, like a peak formation. So I took this one right here and copy and pasted it over here. Let's zoom into this and see what it looks like. Okay, so here we are on a four hour time frame, And as you can see, it moves up. And again, nothing is ever exact, but you have this peak, you have this one, you have this here, you have the decline, you have this little move here, and then it moved, well, here it moved up higher, here it didn't really, kind of went flat, but now it's moving up. And if it continues to follow this, it will kind of wind its way down before actually, potentially, even going higher. So this is, I would say it's, it's a pretty decent match what it's doing now, and especially now that it's that it's done this, it's really kind of following the basic outline of this fractal. Um, and if it continues to follow it, it could look something like this. Now, what is this? And, and what does this mean for the overall big picture? Well, unfortunately, this, in, in my thinking at this point, this could potentially represent roughly one third of the overall range bound sideways time. Now, th there is a way that maybe it could be um, two thirds of it, but I, I really don't think so. The safe bet is to assume that this could potentially be one third. So what does that mean? So that means you would potentially have another fractal. And I was just last night kind of playing around and you could um, here, here's a, 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 basically what I did is, let me zoom out. So right now I have this one placed on there and it goes down to here. So I took this one and this one and rearranged them to where they were, they're more sideways, they're oriented sideways so that it would potentially kind of match what 
we might see in, in a situation like this. So let me put that on. So here would be the fractal one, potentially fractal two, and potentially fractal three, which is here would be is fractal one, here is fractal two, and this is fractal three. So this would be something, now it may not play out like this. This is speculation, folks. But that would put it well into next year. I have September right here of 2023. I don't know if it'll play out that long. But my point being is that the break from this fractal means that we are potentially looking at a longer time going sideways before the, the next bull run. There is another fractal that we can compare it to, and let me jump into that one real quick. Okay, so I took this fractal here from back in 2000, what is it, 18, started in 2018. This is after the decline from the current all-time high. So I took this fractal and I placed it on today's chart. Let's take a look at that. So here we have it, and as you can see, it is a uh, it is a close match, and I I hope that this is not the fractal we're following. This is a potentially a really long slog if this is what we're doing. But as you can see, it uh, has that peak here. It has the, the timing's a little different. It has the peak there. It goes kind of flat and sideways, and now it's moving up. So so if this continues to drop, then I would start to think maybe we are following this fractal. And folks, this fractal took a really long time. Let's go back and look how many days this fractal took to play out. Okay, so this fractal potentially, this took about 240 days to play out. And that's roughly a third of, of, of the overall sequence. So if it is following this, um, we got a long slog ahead of us. So I hope we're not following this. Let me compare this one to the other one that I was showing you. Okay, so here's the one from the peak going from the decline. And as you can see, where they differ is the decline one moves up again to, and goes higher. So it goes kind of down at an angle and then goes up and makes a higher peak. This one, the one from 2018 that took a really long time, it does not. It just continues to kind of move down. So if we are following the peak from the decline, um, it could go up. And I hope, I, I would like to see something like that, considering everything that has been taking place over the past few days. Let me also just take, clear this, and I want to show you some of the key different fractals from this range-bound sideways time. And you can see for yourself which one you think we're following the closest. Okay, so here is that fractal one from the range bound sideways time from back in 2014. As you can see, it move, this move up clearly is not part of that uh, fractal. Here's from 2015, and you can see it. there's some similarities to it, but again, this move up, uh, not in the fractal, at least I don't think so. So I would say that's not in the running either. So here's the one from 2017 that we were following that I thought was... Um, a guidepost for to what's happening today, but with this move up, mm, I'd say it invalidates it, unfortunately. And here is the one from 2017, sorry, 2018 that I was just showing you that took a really long time. I would say, uh, unfortunately, <laughs> it does look like that. And um, and then again, here's that one from the 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 peak on the way down on the decline. That's the reality of the situation we are in, folks. So with this deviation, it, I think, has closed the door to this 2017 fractal that played out really fast, and it now opens the door to something going much longer, unfortunately. Now, this is the way things stand now. As things develop, I will continue to refine my thinking and compare things to the past and see what is the best uh, representation to what is, what is currently taking place. You know, a lot of people are talking about, especially on crypto Twitter, I see it a lot, how we're revving up for a bull run. We're right around the corner from a bull run. And honestly, I would love for that to happen. That, that would be awesome. There is no historical precedent for a decline and then just turning around and going into a bull run. There's zero, zero historical 
evidence for anything like that ever happening. And even with the lawsuit, it didn't break the pattern. It didn't break the structure. It just exaggerated it. So the pattern is stronger than the lawsuit. So to me, this tells me, and I could be wrong, that if we are going to go into a longer time frame, that either this court case is going to drag out longer, but I don't see the, and it could happen where the court case resolves around in the middle of this sideways time. Um, that would be a, a shame. I would like to see it resolve at the end of this sideways time and, and be a catalyst for, for the bull run. You know, maybe it will be that, but I don't see any historical evidence and I've scoured XRP. There is zero historical evidence of a bull run taking place at this point in the chart. Just because these fractals that we're looking at right now are longer than what was in 2017, we could also see a situation where things speed up and go faster. I know at the end of this sideways time is a good time, so I'm, I'm, I'm willing to wait. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful. If you found this type of analysis interesting where I deep dive into fractals and charts, you should hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button, and you'll be notified and kept abreast of what my analysis is on the XRP chart. Also, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button if you found value in this video. One important thing, I am not a financial advisor, so none of this information should be construed or used as financial or investment advice. That would be a mistake. I'm so glad you caught this video. I hope you catch my next one. Have a great day and bye for now.